got the uh, well solution the recruitment solutions law cup coming up tomorrow. How how well prepared do you think the boys are? Well, it's not. We, I wouldn't say pre season's out of the way. We've still got you know four weeks to our first game. We've still mm. got another. We're gonna have a mini pre season after these friendlies. Um, would it because we started really late because we recruited late. We're still only four or five weeks into the pre season, which we've been concentrating on uh, defence and fitness mainly. Yeah. We've got a load of skills work to do with us and I thought we looked really rusty, you know, last week and you could you could tell we've tried to do a lot more skills this week. Um preparation's not been ideal this week, training's been interrupted. Um but we will be we'll be giving it our best shot. Good setup that uh, they've put together here, isn't it? Hopeful door. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, the facilities are second to none. England rugby league have used it in the past. Ireland have been using it. Um, Toronto Wolfpack are now based here, and they've kitted the gym out. So it's you know, it's, the facilities we've got are second to none. Mm. And how are the lads coming together as a squad? Yeah, it's coming together now. There's a good vibe around the camp. Obviously, we've signed a couple more uh, this week. We're looking to bring a couple more in. Um, really looking forward to this game with all of them this week. Um, you know, it'll be a good test at the division above, so we'll see how we go. Yeah. Any injuries after last week, apart from the...? Just Bradbury, yeah. looking really unfortunate for, for Ryan, he's been training really hard, he's been looking really strong, you know, and um, you know that's what you get with the bleed, it's the nature of the beast, isn't it? It's, not, it's, it's a contact sport, isn't it? Yeah, so he's going to be out for a while, it's unfortunate really. Yeah. Alright, um, so yeah, so look up tomorrow. Swinton next week, and then you say there's another mini pre season to go. Well, virtually, yeah, because we play Coventry over on the 16th of February. We've got the Challenge Cup as well, yeah, which we'll be playing against an amateur club, I would have thought. Um, so we'll be going all back to doing our pre season and trying to get the real good training into them because obviously the game's on, on Sundays and we train on Mondays, so it's more like a recovery session we do then, yeah. Um, and obviously, the Drug testers turned up on Thursday at the beginning of the training and completely <laughs> took six of my team and we missed them for the whole session, so it wasn't ideal at all. But that's you know that's what you get. <laughs> so how important is it for you to um, perhaps look at a good running one of the cups this year? Um, obviously the Challenge Cup's the biggest. Yes, yeah, the biggest league. We'd like to have a, a good run in that and get a Super League club at home, try and bring some generate some money for the yeah. for the club and obviously get some excitement going for the fans. Mm. But there's also the AB Sundex Cup as well, isn't there? I think there's an outside chance of going well in that. Uh, it's not ideal because some of the games are, are Wednesday night, aren't they? After, I think we play Newcastle and there's a game on the Wednesday after that, so it's not ideal, but we'll, we'll be giving it our best shot. We've got a big squad, so you know it's really exciting knockout rugby, isn't it? Yeah. A few more signings to come in before the start of the season as well? Hopefully, yeah. We're, we're, um, we're on the lookout for another, another middle and possibly some cover at half-back. Nothing as yet.